lovelies, I'm back. <laughs> How are you? I've missed you. I'm really good. I am really, really good. I feel great. It's been a long time, especially for me, because the last video you saw, I pre-recorded like a week before I posted it. So I don't know, five, six weeks um, ago. I read your comments under that video for the first two days and then I had to stop. So sorry that I didn't reply to everyone, but trust me, I had no idea that my channel meant so much to so many of you. Had no idea. And while I was reading these comments straight after this video came out, I felt like I was still in it. It gave me anxiety, made me feel guilty. And I thought, that's not me taking a break. So I had to stop reading them. I've read a lot and I got the message. So thank you so much. It was really sweet, beautiful comments, but at the same time, <laughs> They felt a bit as if I was listening to people speaking at someone's funeral. <laughs> and to be honest, that's how I felt after that video. I felt very bereaved for the first 10 days. Um, like I've lost something or someone. And, and I did, I suppose. I've lost the ability, not ability, but we were not communicating and... I wasn't doing my filming every day. So yes, it felt, felt like I've lost something. Um, but I soon threw myself into my life and trying to relax and get my sanity back. So where have I been and what did I do? Um, I haven't been nowhere, but I did a lot. So... The first thing I did was throw myself into cleaning my house top to bottom. And I mean like proper cleaning, including taking curtains off, cleaning the windows, moving furniture, you know, like this proper, I suppose you would call spring cleaning. And I still have loads to do. I just been so busy. I can't believe that I've managed to be so busy and that just proved to me that I was neglecting so many things while YouTube was my main focus and I still have loads to do. I've organized some cupboards um, the next thing I'm planning on doing is sorting out my makeup. So as I was moving around doing things in these last few weeks I picked up the camera whenever I felt like it and I filmed some bits so I could put this vlog together to check in with you. Today big, big clean begins so I'm doing the living room I'm going to roll up my rug I move all the sofas to dust and vacuum and mop under there because I don't do that very often I'm cleaning just round things most of the time <laughs> and if you move your sofas and dust under everywhere you are a better person than me Louis is not gonna like it are you you're not gonna like it all the noises and disturbing your sleep.
carries on. I have only three rooms left to do. So today I am doing our bedroom. It's going to be, I've been putting it off because, let me show you this. So I have to take everything off this dressing table, including this huge mirror, because I need to take off those voils and wash them. I've got two windows here. Put them in a washing machine and I have to clean the windows. I need to take everything off so I can get to the window. At some point, I will have to also <laughs> sort out my makeup. Uh, look at the amount of the brushes I've got. So, yes, it's going to be a big job. Um, I will be moving stuff around as well to vacuum behind everywhere. I did the things that needed to be done and then I did a lot of things that made me feel good and quiet in my mind. I carried on seeing my friend, you know, our weekly meetings in that beautiful country pub. Then Paul and I um, would go for our usual long walks with Louis and also we've tried to find places that we haven't been to, uh, places that made us feel good, somewhere nice picturesque where we could take Louis and where we could have something to eat. So that did me a lot of good, uh, being in nature. That is where I feel the happiest, when I'm out in nature, walking somewhere beautiful, or sitting somewhere pretty for, for a spot of lunch or a drink. Uh, we are going today to a lovely place. We've never been there. We're going to Copper Club in Strictly on Thames. It's this place um, you can stay there. They have a hotel, spa, bars, restaurants. They do water sports, yoga. Um, and throughout the summer, they've been doing um, at weekends lobster bar. So it's outside by the river and they cook lobster, prawns um, and stuff like that. And I know my Paul really loves lobster, so I booked it. We're taking Louie, you can take your dog there. The only thing is, it, we've had lovely weather for the rest of the summer. Um, and it's been lovely up till today. <laughs> so it's a bit cloudy. There is a small ch chance of rain. It's still quite warm. It's 21 degrees. Um, but I just hope it doesn't, doesn't uh, rain because it will spoil everything. So I'm looking forward to it. It looks beautiful there. I'm just taking every opportunity when the weather, weather is nice to be outside. Not wearing anything special, it's very casual. You can go dress however you like there. Um, I might show you. This is actually probably first time this summer that I've worn jeans. You know, I've been into my dresses and skirts. So let me show you. There you go, nothing special. I'm wearing... Um, my um, Tory badge sandals, <laughs> remember the Paul got me in Las Vegas. So yes, nothing special. But yes, we are really looking forward to it, just fingers crossed that it doesn't rain.
going to see my friend again uh, this been keeping me quite sane we've been doing it every single week thankfully the weather is still lovely and um, as you saw that's what um, I am wearing today um, and I wanted to show you as you saw I'm wearing this white shirt and white shorts linen uh, this shirt you've seen this was from Reese um, you saw it earlier on this summer in one of my uh, vlogs and pink shoes pink bag and I thought I needed something pink up here to break it up and um, I have this little twilly I've got different ones in different colors I think I bought them on Etsy a long time ago I sometimes put them on my handbags sometimes as a headband so what I thought I do I have this necklace, um, it's very old, I think it might be from Marks and Spencers and I thought I do this, I put this, I sort of weave the twilly around this necklace and tie it here and I have scuff necklace and that sort of ties them nicely with the pink accents. I just wanted to show you that it is so easy to make like an ordinary um, outfit look a bit extra. Let me know what you think. I think I think I'm a genius. <laughs> So I have been really, really good with my halo and my LED panel, red light therapy panel. I have been religiously using my halo every other day and then the panel every other day. I do it in the evening. I've always been quite regular using it, but not as good as I have been in the last four weeks. I really, really, even sometimes I don't feel like it, I will do it. And I feel like these smiley lines, the lighting might not be that good here. I've got some light here and a bit of light from from the window but I feel like my smiley lines here have really softened and also I don't know if it's my imagination but I think my jowls are not as bad not that I had huge huge jowls but you know they were starting to hang there 
so I really feel the difference and I've been doing just those two treatments the lift the way I've shown you um, in that video um, I might link it here if you haven't seen it I've shown you how to do the lift the double lift and um, this is the founder's favorite I'm doing now and I sometimes do this one twice but that's really long then and what I might do I don't know if you can see but I have a zit coming up here and I don't often get zits like a teenage acne <laughs> so I might do the clear skin is it the clear skin the one that bring out your zits and your blackheads so I might do that one after this but yes definitely if you stick with it you'll see the difference and yes if you stop using it for a month you're not going to revert completely back to what your skin was because obviously you're constantly working on the muscles and on the condition of your skin and the um, collagen production and it's not like it, this is going to stop your aging but I feel like it's going to delay it and you will age better. I have a discount code if you want to buy it and um, I don't know how much is the discount. E. Sometimes it's 10%, sometimes it's 15 but the code is always the same so just try it. I'm not sure if that code actually includes gels. I've never thought of that. So even if you're just buying the gel, any gel, try it in my work. Um, but I'm not sure if they do the discount for gels. Right, I'm going, it's called problem solver, not clear skin. So let's do it. And that's the one where you have to pay attention to the electrode. So the electrode without the charging port is the one that goes over your spotty bits. So I'm going to do it a bit on my blackheads, those two huge craters on my chin, because that really draws them out. And then I'm gonna go on this bad boy here, on my forehead. Ah, you can feel it when you go over it. I don't know why I got so spotty. Well, so spotty, I've got one spot. <laughs> but I, um, I've i never suffered with that. I, I used to get like few, you know, monthly break, breakouts when I was younger, but I've never suffered with like acne or anything like that, so, and to see that, oh, that hurts, we will see what it looks like tomorrow, right, I'm just going to carry on with it. And then we had a wonderful family weekend in big Airbnb in Cotswolds, there was nine of us, we had a lot of fun. It was just wonderful. So this is the place we're staying at. It's beautiful. My dream house made out of Cotswold stone. Oh wow, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Cinema room. Did you see the gym? Here. Yeah. Where's the torture? Oh, what are you doing with that?
What does it say? I also got sent a couple of dresses. Uh, this was a company that I've never heard of, a brand. And uh, so I filmed those two dresses for you as well to show them to you. And I also have a new wig, a beautiful wig. And I have filmed review of that wig, so I probably will post it in a couple of days. I've been sent a couple of dresses by this company that I've never heard of. It's called Takanak. Uh, it's an online shop. I think it might be in the US, but they ship worldwide. Uh, so I thought I'd try them on for you to show you. So there is a black one, sort of, um, I don't know what you call it, like a tuxedo style. Um, it is gathered here at the waist. And I really love the front. I don't know if you can see it. It goes a bit in like a V. So it's more, I would say, like an empire line, which I love. Because if you've got any, a bit of excess belly here, empire line really hides it well. So um, it's a lovely fabric. I think it's cotton. But it's a bit silky. It's quite heavy and substantial. But also... Is completely lined so that's this one and then this beautiful cotton red dress both of them have sorry I'm like this but it's a bit awkward to do it um, they both both dresses have pockets which I love they did this dress in so many colors and you have here who can I closure so you can have it closed or you can open it a bit and it comes with this very long huge sash uh, that you can I suppose well you can wrap a couple of times around your waist but this looks quite nice even without the sash just like a loose summer dress so lovely so well made so let me try it on so here's the black one they are both in medium. Now, if I was going to give you size advice for this one, I mean, this one is really fine and very comfortable. But, so this is medium. I have quite big chest. If I didn't, if I was like a B cup, or maybe even C cup, then I think I could go size down. But this fits me perfectly here. But you know, maybe it's supposed to be that that shape. Like I said, it has um, pockets. It's so lovely and so comfortable. Really, really lovely dress. I think this is even nice, you know, I think you could wear it to the office in the summer because it's not like a flimsy fabric or anything. It almost feels like a thick um, linen but it's not I don't I'm not really sure what it's made out of anyway I think I think they've given me discount as well for you so I will leave the links and the discount if I've got one in the description box actually look I've just put a belt with it and it looks quite nice with the belt so 
maybe just go with your own size and if you want it loose, I wear it without the belt but if you want it more cinching then you can wear it with a belt another very clever feature, feature I wanted to show you so you know you've got these buttons but between this button and this button it's like a little snap closure which I suppose, you know, like sometimes, especially when you've got bobs, it can gape between the buttons. So this is there to stop the gaping. Like real attention to detail. Love it. So this is the red one. This is without the sash. Um, this is size medium as well. I think I could have gone for large. Because I quite like it like this without, without anything in the waist. It's really nice and cool. But when I put my hands in the pocket, you know, you could, I can feel it on my bum. So if you want it more flowy, especially when you cinch it, then maybe go for size, size up. But yeah, it's a lovely, like a poplin cotton. And then you've got this really long sash. So I suppose you have to, I would wrap it round like this and that's what it looks like cinching in a way so I suppose you could also use different belt you don't have to, you don't have to use the sash but yeah, if you would want the skirt to be a bit fuller then I would size up not that this is too small it just depends what what look you're going for but it's lovely and cool Love it, and I think the colour is lovely. I hope it comes across. It's a true red, and like I said, they did them in different colours. And things that I didn't do, you probably will not believe it, I haven't bought a one thing. I haven't bought any clothes, and I haven't bought any makeup. Even though Natasha Denona came out with new palette, I need a warm, I think. And to be honest, I looked at this palette and my first instinct was to buy it. It's beautiful and to be honest, I wish if I didn't buy the golden palette that came out just before that, I probably would rather have this one instead. But they are all warm browns and I probably have hundreds of similar eyeshadows but I'm not saying no because you know how I feel about Natasha Denona palette so I could still buy it but I haven't bought nothing for six weeks which is unheard of so yes I feel really really good and somewhat refreshed even Paul said to me that I seem so much calmer um, and not stressed all the time. When it comes to this channel, I am not going back to committing to two videos a week. It could be, there could be a period where I will do two videos a week, but there could be a period that I will just do one, one a month. I feel like, like this will work for me and I hope this will work for you as well. Uh, so thank you so much again for your amazing, amazing comments. You made me smile, you made me cry. Yes, I'm good. I am really, really good and I hope you are doing well too. So that's it my darlings for this video. It's been lovely to come on here and catch up with you and I will see you in my next video. So. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.